What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Faye. How are you guys? Hope that you guys are all doing well. I am. Um, today is Tuesday, 1 11 11. <laughs> um, hopefully, you guys are all doing well. Um, what's going on? You know, I wanted to come by and talk to you guys. I was thinking about this the other day and I wanted to get some opinions. I wanted to talk about the whole Oprah own um, network thing. Um, let me just start by saying I personally do not have cable um, by choice. I don't, um, I watch TV online um, at work or on the internet. You know what I mean? So I don't have cable at home, but I catch, I'm up to date on all the shows that I personally like to watch because they're all online. So whatever. So I haven't seen the own network yet. But over the past couple of days and in the past weekend especially, um, I've been hearing a lot of people, even within my own circle, um, giving a lot of criticism towards Oprah. Mind you, I have not watched the channel myself. Um, the, some of the things that I've heard is people saying, oh, you know, she took away Discovery Health and that's one of, you know, that's my favorite channel. Um, oh, who does she think she is? You know, why would she take away her whole channel? Why does she need her own channel? Why can't she have, why can't she be on another channel with somebody else? Okay. Um, I hear all those complaints and it's fine. But then this morning I woke up, well, today I was going on Facebook and somebody posted an article. I'm going to read to you from the article because I don't want to, um, misquote anybody. But the lady's name is Sheila Johnson. She's the co-founder of BET. And um, she was um, quoted as having a few concerns about the old network, um, saying that it has a lack of racial diversity. Okay? And um, so this is what she said. The only advice that I say, um, let, let's open up your circle a little bit more. You know, we love Dr. Phil's. We love the Susie Orsmans. Let's open up. There are other people, and there's also other African American experts out there that I think she should start bringing on her show that would that can help her reach a wider audience. Okay, so at that point, um, she um, someone said that the network was was white, and someone said no, yes. Well, she said no, yes. And I think that she really should do that and not be afraid of it. There's a lot of great experts out there that really know the businesses at hand. And I'd like her to open up her circle to that. Okay. So basically she's trying to say that Oprah um, only brings on white experts onto her show. And that her show really isn't... Um, you know, open to black and Latins, okay, or that her network isn't. Um, again, I haven't seen the network, but I know that I've heard that Oprah, sorry, I've heard Oprah get um, kind of, you know, accused of that before. But let me just say this. In my opinion, this is business. And she can work with, first of all, she can work with whoever she wants to work with. But I, I find it very hypocritical that this lady, the co-founder of BET, one of the blackest channels out there, it's called Black Entertainment Channel. She doesn't have, she has very few Latinas or Latins on there. Almost no white people on there would turn around and say that Oprah's channel is not black enough. Really? Where do they do that at? First of all, I don't feel that BET provides us with stuff that will uprich, uh, you know, like that, that will enrich the black race. It doesn't. You know what I mean? It took forever for them to get that show uncut, turned off of there, to get to get it off of there because it was basically porn at night, soft porn at night. It was a whole big controversy. They finally got that taken off. I didn't have a problem with it. I felt like anyone sh whose kids are up that late watching it, they should be in bed. You know what I mean? So it didn't bother me, that show, but finally they took it off because they didn't feel it was more morally okay. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, other than Roxy on 106 and Park, how many other Spanish people do she have? Please let me know below. Like I said, I don't have cable. Um, other than the white lady that's on the game, which airs tonight, 
who else is on there that's white? So what are you doing to d diversify yourself? So I feel it's kind of hypocritical for them to now turn around on Oprah and be like, oh, her show isn't black enough. Her her channel isn't black enough. When um, a lot of other channels are not, I mean, let's be honest. Television as a whole is not racially diverse. You may see one or two black anchors or whatever, but there's not really a lot of things that are just only focusing on white people or black people. And why does it have to be that way? I never watched Oprah Winfrey's show and felt white because I was watching her show. I watched her show because I think that I thought that her show was pretty good at times, and it was sometimes it was boring. And when it was boring, I turned it off. So it's the same thing. So I feel like she's getting some what somewhat of unfair criticism because she's trying to you know go off and do her own thing i mean number one i feel like we should support her because she's a black woman and let's be honest she's done i mean she has reached great lengths okay she has set the bar for, i mean high i don't know who else is gonna be up uh, after her to take that bar but I don't know, I just feel like it's a little hypocritical for this lady from BET to be like, oh, her channel is not racially, it's not racially diverse. Um, first of all, is your channel racially diverse? No, it's it's called Black Entertainment Chan Television, and that's fine. But my point is, there aren't any diverse things on there, okay? Even MTV is a little bit more diverse than BET is. Let's just be honest. Um, again, it's my opinion. Um, so you guys let me know what you think about that, um, if you have a point on it. Um, I used to like the Discovery Health channel. Let's just be honest, Oprah is powerful, but she's not God. She didn't go and say, that's the channel I want. That's the channel that was given to her, you know what I mean? And she, Discovery approached her. If you watch a documentary, I think it might still be on ABC.com. She thought about having her own network a long time ago, and then they came to her with the idea. So they gave her a channel. Okay, and how many of y'all was watching Discovery Health anyway? I liked it, but uh, if you're not interested in those type of things, a lot of people didn't watch it. So I don't know. I feel like ultimately we need to support her. And, you know, as black people, we don't have the best history of supporting people, especially people who are influential, you know what I mean, or who can be perceived as influential. <laughs> I, I heard... um See, I'm talking about that word yesterday, so I won't say she's influential, but she, she can be seen as a role model, you know what I mean? And I don't think we support all of them that often, so maybe that's why she's doing that. She had Yala Van Zandt um, on her show for a series, but it didn't go far, you know what I mean? And maybe because enough black people weren't watching Oprah, maybe that's why when Yala was there, it didn't go far. I don't know the history behind that, but I'm just saying, can we all just get along? <laughs> Why we have to be, you know, criticizing this lady? Shout out to Oprah. Do your thing, boo boo. I, you know, do what you gotta do. Anyway, that's my take on it. I hope it made sense. And I will talk to you guys later. Also, I forgot to put in the links um, yesterday for the fitness challenge. I will put it in the link below. Guys, if I ever say I'm putting a link up and I don't, please tell me because I put it down there, but I didn't save it. I must have went on to do something else. So. Please always let me know if I don't put the link down there because I think it's a little annoying when people say, I'll have the links below and then they don't do it. So please, if I ever do that again, just let me know and I'll take care of it right away. Okay, so I'll put the links to the fitness challenge down in the underneath the bar today for real. And um, just let me know what y'all think about this. I thought it was, you know, like I said, I, I think I see some hypocrisy, hypocrisy, whatever hypocrisy in this foolishness and i just wanted to talk about it so i hope you guys are all having a great day um i want you guys to be encouraged stay blessed all that good stuff today and i will talk to you guys later bye